Yeah, that's good. All right, stuff's a little slow today. That's okay. Hello everyone. Black canvas today. <laughs> Don't do these often, but I had some leftover gesso. Figured I'd give it a give it a shot. Covering a whole canvas with one. Let's see. Where's my palette? Oh, it's over here. Alright. So we're on back to the States things. Uncle 60's here. Hi Uncle 60. We did the uh, two-year thing. Monday, I think it was. So that was fun. Today's back to the States. I might do a Christmas one, but I don't know. We'll see. Here we are. I'm going to put a little bit of thin oil on the canvas real quick. But the colors, a little different than usual. Transparent oxide red, Prussian blue, a lizard and crimson titanium white, Indian yellow, cadmium yellow, naphthol red. And you'll notice I have a lot more of these other colors than I normally put out. That's because we're on, actually I can probably just drop these up here. That's what I usually do. <laughs> we're on Hawaii and I was like, I could do a seascape for Hawaii. But I've already done some seascapes. What else is in Hawaii? Well, Hawaii has a lot of active volcanoes. I figured I could try and paint one of those. I've never tried painting one before, so it probably will be a little tough, a little rough, but that's okay. We'll give it a shot. Also, don't know if I want to put like background color up here or just use the palette knife. I don't know. I haven't planned any of this out. Paul's here. Hey, Paul. He's getting started. And I'll probably wipe all this off here afterwards. regular paint sometimes. Got all over my hand though. There we go. Got some on the handle. Gary's here. Hey Gary. Santa painting. Are you using liquid clear? This is just regular linseed oil, not uh, not the liquid clear or anything else. Nothing fancy, just linseed oil. I'll put some down here. Just a little bit. I say a little bit and I put a giant drop of it. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. I'll wipe this off here in a second. Lots and lots of oil. Just make sure I don't have any really dry spots in the corners, anything like that. Alright, there we go. Paint your dream world, hello. What are you painting? The suspense is killing you, I can tell. <laughs> It's, it's our Hawaii painting today, and it's, uh, um, it's going to be a volcano. I'm going to try to paint Kilauea. I'm going to wipe some of that. Oh, <laughs> the gesso is coming off. That's not good. That's what happens when I get the cheap gesso. Oh. Not concerned. All right, here we go. We already got the colors 
Got the colors out. Let's see. I can't remember which brush I used. I think it was the first one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's put in some background. Background crimson here. Let's see. Okay. I won't be able to see much of this at all. There's some crimson there. Yeah, I'll put it over here too. Some down on the bottom here. This will be very hard to see until I actually start throwing in some whites, but we'll get there, I promise. All right. And then let's just throw a little bit of blue up in the top right. I don't think I'm going to use much blue on this one, but. I'll just put it here for moral support, or color support. <laughs> all right, so we got crimson all over this side and then a little bit of Prussian blue up on that side. I'm gonna wipe this brush out real quick. Just finished painting on my channel, nice. Yeah, everybody go check out Paint Your Dream World. He's got a really good channel, lots of good tips. It's getting a little toasty up here. Let's see. Let's throw some white in up here. We're going to put in some sky, but I don't want too much. I'm going to start with some like spots and then that's good enough. Spots and then lighten it up because this is titanium white. Normally I use titanium zinc white, but titanium white in this brand of paint is very strong. I just want like spots, spots of sun or twilight or something. And over here it can be really dark, that's fine. All right. <laughs> so we got some clouds up there, over here. Now I'm gonna add in some yellow, yellow color. I might use the one inch brush for this. Let's use that. And a little bit of naphtha red. There we go. This is where the brim will go, brim of the volcano up here. Paint by Nate, you're almost at 600. I know, that's pretty exciting. Maybe when we hit, I don't know, a thousand or something, we can do something special. All right, wipe that brush off real quick. Add in some red. This is naphthol red now. Angry, angry red color. Wipe him off. Grab some more yellow. Throw them on top. These are like, these are smoke clouds from the, I don't know, from the fire of the volcano. So it's like erupting this way and then smoke's blowing that way. This is going to be a fun one. All right, now what? Now what's next? <clears throat> Let's use, this is oxide red. I don't know if I want to use that yet. We got to do the brim or the actual like volcano. I'm just putting in 
in some color right now. And I think this one's pretty big. I can't remember how big exactly, but I think it's like one of the bigger volcanoes. Kilauea. that part Spike says I'm really loving the state paintings keep up the great work <laughs> it was a suggestion by Erica Erica May she commented on some of one of the videos and yeah I thought it was a really good idea so I just went went with it all right so there's the brim I don't know if I want that much paint on it either so I might scrape off some more Oh yeah, that's way too much. We don't want that much. <laughs> that's a lot of paint. Sometimes I get carried away. All right, we wipe that off. Now we got to add in some. What do we want to add in? <laughs> Should have thought about this before. Let's see. We can do some Indian yellow here. And we'll just start throwing this on. These are the lava trails right at the top. <laughs> I'm gonna start throwing it in. I don't know, how much of this should I do with the palette knife? I could do a lot. I'm not sure how much I should do. <laughs> could probably do the whole thing if we really wanted to. flowing flowing down the mountain <laughs> that's cool uh, all right, we'll add some more I feel like we need something up at the top let's add some bright yellows here there we go it's okay if they mix together. You'll get some nice colors there, I think. Some over here, touch on those. And we'll probably have something down at the bottom, I don't know. Some type of flow down there with a fan brush, maybe. We need some sort of eruption here. Let's see. There's some red in there. Let's just, I kind of just want to smash paint in there. <laughs> let's start, let's just. Let's just start throwing stuff in there. is over. It comes up into that smoke. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a fireball. Probably blend that out a little bit too with the bunny brush. If I have it, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Forget what I was using them for last time. There we go. 
was pulling up. I want to look kind of these ones I can feather in. There we go. There we go. That's some smoke. Too, we could brighten it up with some white. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we do that. Just a little bit. White and yellow. That might be too much. A little bit. Just a little bit. edge maybe not there and then a little bit up here maybe all right that's probably enough maybe for the top top part move this color that I didn't like up there all right now we can do, what do we want to do now? I'm trying to think. I feel like we should have something over here. Maybe we can have like the lava flow come over the side and then down the front. That might be okay. That might work. All right. I don't know if I had a lizard and crimson over here, but I'm just going to throw it in. I think I put it down, but I can't remember. So, this is just the fan brush. Scrub it in straight, always in crimson over this side. Alright, now we'll go into that yellow. Throw in the base. reddish color here. A little bit brighter than the regular lizard and crimson. Now I can add some thin oil here. I might want to blend out. Probably should have blended these out. <laughs> Towards the bottom. At least. Looks like I was trying to highlight a tree trunk. There we go. Fender's here. Hi, Fender. How's it going? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Clean off the fan brush real quick. Might need some more cad yellow, but uh, it should be okay. Tommy says, looks lovely, looking lovely. Thanks. Thanks, Tommy. I'm just putting some, uh, I don't know if you can see it, the camera's kind of high up there, but I'm putting some linseed oil in the uh, cad yellow. There we go. And I'll take this and run it over. I need it to look more like a stream. That might have been too much there. <laughs> That's okay. Grab some more. Got oil all over my hands. Went out the edge just a little bit.
I feel like we could use just a little bit more yellow down at the bottom here. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen a volcano in person, so I'm just kind of painting from <laughs> some photos I looked at. I just need some hard color in there, and then I can shape it. Lava? I don't know. <laughs> A little bit at least. Maybe there's some dried over here, it's a little darker. We can blend that out a little bit here. With the old bunny brush. Looks kind of solid, a little bit. <laughs> Some over here, maybe. I feel like this was a really fast one. <laughs> I thought it was going to take a little bit longer. Should we add anything? Okay, these out just a little bit more. There's a lot of space over here. I don't know what to put over there. Maybe we don't put anything. I don't know. Definitely not somewhere you'd want to walk, that's for sure. I do have some stuff on my palette knife. That's no fun. Oh well. Had a dinosaur. I liked your Christmas ornament paying. Oh, thanks. Yeah, those were fun. That was, um, who did I see that did that? Uh, ma mm, uh, painting with Master Temple. He did some. I saw him do some, so I thought I'd try it, give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know how to draw a dinosaur. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can do one. I'll probably need something more detailed, like a filbert, maybe. <laughs> it's going to be tricky. Paul's always throwing me curveballs. Uh. Oh, I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> There's part of the head. How big do we want them? I think it can be pretty big. Maybe just the head. <laughs> this is going to be tough. <laughs> More like a rock than a dinosaur, maybe. All right. We need... Where's the mouth? A little bit more accent on the head. Nate Zilla. <laughs> yeah. Add a big eye in here. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but we'll figure it out. Is there yellow here? <laughs> I can't even tell. I feel like I need just a little bit more. Oh, it's brown. I don't want brown eyes. <laughs> Can't have brown. Solid brown eye. I just look. That don't look right. I'll clean this brush off. Maybe that'll help. All right, back to this. I think I tried the yellow and it didn't quite work, so I'll just get it a little bit more and see if this 
What direction does a dinosaur's eye go? They're like crocodiles, right? I don't know. This is either going to look terrible or great. Or maybe a little both. Also don't have any black, but I can probably make some with purple and these colors. Red, blue. Oxide, brown. That should be some shade of hopefully dark purple or black or something. We'll throw that in at the end though. That's for the eye. <laughs> I think I do need a script liner for this. Maybe that's the edge. <laughs> the edge of the dinosaur. I'm not an expert in dinosaur drawing or painting. If you know of one, let me know. Give him a little, he needs a little arm. T-Rex arm. <laughs> nice. All right. One that out just a little bit. And then, oh, where'd my script liner go? Oh, it's over here. I'll blend that out, or, or wash this out real quick and add an eye, a little ball in the eye, or a black spot. It's very hard to see up there because the light's like right behind the camera. Hopefully you guys can see it. Scary, <laughs> scary looking. Teeth, maybe. I give him a couple of teeth. They don't have to be big. <laughs> there we go. And a couple of nose. A nostril here. Looks like a big alligator. Right. I think that's good enough for the dinosaur. I don't know what type of dinosaur it is, but... You like putting dinosaurs in your painting spike? <laughs> that's pretty cool. I don't really add much wildlife to them. It's usually just, uh, just regular old landscapes, but it's pretty fun. It's starting to look like me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sign this before I destroy any other parts of the painting. <laughs> Although that didn't go, that went pretty well. Nice little volcano and a dinosaur. His impending doom. Put a date on there. Two, two, almost to 23. Pretty crazy. Won't be many 22 Nate paintings. <laughs> All right, I think that's good enough. We can take them down. That was a nice mm, short bush painting. <laughs> it's supposed, supposed to be Kilauea. Uh, 
I think that's held up kind of straight. There we go. Mount Kilauea in Hawaii. But we had a dinosaur because, you know, why not? <laughs> Artistic license and whatnot. All right. Drop that one down there. What was the other state that comes after Hawaii? Hawaii, I, Idaho. That's it. That's it. I'll probably turn this heat off. It's like 90 degrees up in here. I just spray the paint, uh, spray the back of this canvas with water so it gets a little tight before I start painting. Wipe this off. Wipe this off. Lots of yellow up here. That's dangerous, you don't want that getting in the next sky. <laughs> you know, that'll turn green, get that yellow in it. That's happened to me a lot of times, I've done that. I leave yellow on the easel and it goes up and gets stuck in the top. Michael's having good canvas sale, buy one, get two. Whoa! I'm used to the buy one, get ones, but buy one, get two, that's a good deal. That's a real good deal. Here we go. Press that in. I gotta figure out what colors I'm gonna use for this next one. I'm not entirely sure. Finally get to catch a stream. Kiradelix. <laughs> You're not too late. We're just about to do one more. Um, doing the one from Idaho. Another state that I have not been to. But it looks really nice from the photos I've been looking at. I'm just going to clean up the palette real quick, pick out the new colors. I'll be off here to the side, won't be able to see the chat for a little bit, but feel free to talk, chat amongst yourselves, whatever you want. There we go. I think the finishing on my palette here is starting to come up, so I might have to redo it. This is going to be a snowy, snowy waterfall, I think. Let's use a lot of cool colors. Let's use some Prussian blue, ultramarine blue. That's some nice blue. I need lots of white paint for snow. So let's get that out. I can do three piles of that. Probably no yellow. Maybe some phthalo blue, I don't know. I've never used three different blues in a painting before, but maybe, maybe it'll work. I don't know. All right, so we have oxide, blue, 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 crimson, white, red. That can work, we can work with that. All right. Paul's got to go. Being back in a second. No worries. Ends tonight. Okay. I'll probably run over there after the stream then. Because <laughs> that's like a really, really good deal. Buy one, get two free. Gotta open up a new roll of shop towels real quick. These are just the blue ones if you ever see me using those Scott shop towels. Get them in AutoZone in a big box. They tend to soak up the oil a bit better than regular, regular towels. I just got blue all over my hands in my hand. Still got some magic white left in it. I dropped it after 
or during the last stream I did, so there's probably not too much left in it. Oh yeah, there's a little bit. You can do one more painting with this. All right. Let's get. This is at the very end. I, I it was probably two thirds of the way full last stream, but I knocked it over. Spilled all over the floor. There's a giant white spot on my floor now. <laughs> I couldn't clean it up. But it happens. I have lots of accidents in there up here. It's just magic light though. Alexander magic light. Nothing fancy. I think this right side's pretty good. Got a hair. That's good. I had a little bit more and then wipe it all off. Not all of it, but a good bit of it. There we go. Little circles here. This slot there. Got a slot there. All right, go back and forth a few times. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put this magic white over here so I don't knock it over again. We'll just sit right there. All right, there we go. Wipe this brush off. And we'll go back up here. Oh, I forgot to clean the brushes after the last one. I'll do that here in a second. Wipe this down. You can scrape it off too with the palette knife. However you want to, however you want to do it. However you find it works. All right, let's clean these brushes off real quick. Should have done that in between. I think this one's going to be pretty simple too. Not much, uh, not much going on. <laughs> no dinosaurs. <laughs> no dinosaurs in this one. All right, I'll wipe this one-inch brush off. I haven't used a one-inch brush in a long time. I don't know why. I usually just stick with the two and a half inch brush, even though it's kind of a brute force brush. See online for sale. East Coast, it's still on sale. All right, nice. That's the fan ones joining up just now. There's a sale on canvases that Uncle 60 brought up. Buy one, get two free at Michael's. That's a really good deal for canvases because they can run pretty expensive. All right, I'll wipe the two inch, two and a half inch brush off. And then after this, I think we're good to get started. Sorry, I forgot to wipe the brushes off in between or before I started this one. I write this off really good because if I have any of that thinner in here, it can ruin the can ruin the painting. All right, I think that should be good enough. Good enough. Let's get started. All right, colors. I don't know why I picked three different blues, but I did. This is just transparent oxide red. Probably won't use too much of that. Phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, lizard crimson, titanium whites, naphthol red. This is Idaho. It's called Mesa Falls. I haven't been there, but it's a, just a waterfall scene, but it's going to be icy. Lots of ice in this one. So 
Let's see. I should probably plan this out because it's a different perspective than I normally do. Let's see. I don't think there's any brown left in this brush. If there is, oh well. It happens. Let's see. We want edge of the waterfall here. Comes down that way. This way. This is how, this is how I plan my paintings if you're just joining in. The line of the trees. That's too far. I'll go this way. There we go. Trees up and down here. Sky here. I think that's good. That's good. Ice here. There. Okay. Wall of rocks. That's the plan. That's the plan. Three lines and four dots. Let's get, let's get it, let's go. My wife said if I buy another canvas, she'll beat me with my paintbrush. <laughs> oh no. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. All right, let's use, let's just use, let's use thalo blue for some of this, most of the sky. I think I touched some Prussian blue, but let's just use thalo blue. Okay, <laughs> I did have some Prussian blue in there. It's making some weird effects in the sky. Sky. Now we can add the Prussian blue to the corners. There we go. Might wipe that out here in a second. Or blend it out. Have some brush marks there. There'd be a blender brush. <laughs> All right, I think that's okay. I don't know if we want to add some clouds in. If we do, they'd be pretty small. Won't be able to see much of them, but maybe we can add one. One up here in the corner. Frosty cloud, just hanging out. We can one that out. Comes out here. There we go. All right. Get the. Where's the bunny brush? Go? Well. Blend. Big frosty cloud. He's just hanging out. There we go. This is going to be kind of a more basic Bob Ross type painting. Not too much to it. All right. Let's start throwing in the back line of trees. These are going to be the darker blue. Go. 
I'll throw some white in, in between. We'll do a few, maybe two or three layers of these. Let's see, where's this uh, or light? trees in between the waterfall back on this hill we're gonna put them up there let's see could just use I could use ultramarine maybe since we're just using all the blues three or four, maybe five, maybe six, I don't know. They just go all the way to the sides. good for that. Add just a touch of highlights on those ones. And it's okay if we have blue already in the white. I think it's fine. I need some oil though. Seed oil. Just adding some snow on these guys back here. Oh, forgot this one. Here we go. All right, so we got a little distant trees. Now we got to add a little rock face type deal here in the middle. All right, we'll use a palette knife for this. Oh, Uncle it's 60. Oh, yeah, you can't leave. <laughs> I turned off the links because of spam bots. I should turn it on to whitelist people who want to share links. We're going to try that after the stream. Nathan Hodge, I'm new to this channel. Love your work. Thanks. Thanks, Nathan. Good to have you. All right, let's spread. I'm just going to put crimson and oxide red together. And then maybe some Prussian blue. a darker color for the rocks back here. Alright, there's gonna be rocks. I'm trying to think. I have a mental image of what it should look like. Sometimes they don't quite line up. Alright, come down there. I'll just cover these with 
now. Whoops. I believe it goes all the way over here. I'm trying to remember. here in the middle and then the river kind of waterfall yeah are you painting happy little trees bubbles ask yes painting some happy trees some snow a little bit of everything here all right let's get out the other brush i'll add some trees up on top up on here of the mountains, or the, not mountains, cliff, just a little bit. I need to break in this fan brush too, it's not, it's a wild fan brush, if you've ever, new fan brushes are always wild. You just go right into the tops of these. I probably could have done the rocks afterwards, but that's fine. Just using that Prussian blue. A little one here. And one there. And then I got that snow down on this. Alright, I think that's about maybe one more on this right side here. There we go. I think that's good enough for this ridge. There we go. Wipe off the brush again. We got our highlighting brush. Might need some more oil. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. Two drops. Just white, white and oil, and then some blue that was left on there. Nothing fancy for these trees. There you go. And some on this little one, and then him. I think that's good enough for the background trees. For the other background trees. some more highlights to these. I guess this would be the snow. Snow up on these. bottom part before we keep going probably just blue for the rest of it Prussian blue maybe maybe ultramarine I don't know I'm not sure you got vermilion and came across it ah vermilion that's a great app for folks who don't want to if you just want to try out painting and you've never painted before, Vermilion is excellent. It's a VR app that's very similar to real painting. Not one-to-one, -one, but it's very similar.
filling this in. I'll cover it up with other colors here in a bit. Oh, I should have done that first, but that's fine. Cover all this in. Alright, I need to wipe this brush off real quick. This is my blue brush. Probably add in more mountains here in a second because this should be lower. Let's see. Let's pull these down. Extended the cliff a little bit. Not exactly like Mesa Falls anymore, but that's okay. Nate, I'm looking for a Christmas gift for my dad. Any tips? That's a good question. Depends on what your dad likes. I usually just give my dad a landscape painting every year. At least the past few years. Seems to make him cheer him up. He likes those mountains usually. Almost dropped it. Didn't drop it that time. Came close. <laughs> Sometimes I do drop my tools. Gotta do the waterfall here. All right, let's see. Might need a darker blue. Is this dark? That's pretty dark. Dark enough, I think. Might need to add some bushes up here at the top, but we make do with what we got. All right. We need a little bit of water here. We'll add some bushes up there to kind of fix Fix the perspective. Let's do that real quick before we get too far. Fix it while we can. Okay, I think that's good enough. We got some of this weird gray color. that and then we can come back in with the white and the blue splash a little bit all right now we're gonna get ready for this part we need lots of oil because we're gonna come over the side lots of layers of paint so it needs to be thin otherwise we'll get into a bit of a mess Alright, 
This is just white oil. A bit of blue. A little bit of blue. Not too much. A little bit. All right, here we go. some splashes down here. Think the water comes out there. There's like two buckets of water here that I need to sort out. Not two buckets, two uh, sources. There's like the this one coming over and then there's like the, another one that's behind it. Close enough. Don't buy expensive supplies, yeah. That's a good tip. Apple barrel paints. I haven't used I haven't used acrylics in a long time. I forget what brand I used. That messed me up pretty bad. <laughs> it was like uh just gave me hives. I did try Sarah colors though, and those seem to work pretty well. They're not they're not acrylics, but like a water soluble paint. I'm just gonna add in something to kind of block it in this area over here. It's like a cliff or something. This no man's land. <laughs> this corner that I can't get to because of the knobs or the lip. Lip on the side here. off. Paul's got to go. All right, see you, Paul. Thanks for joining. Fluid pour art. I haven't tried that, but I've seen it on Instagram. It looks pretty cool. All right, now I'm just going to kind of throw some on the side here. Looks like icicles. That's what I'm trying to get. Shelf. I don't know what, what how you'd say. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe some here. You can always pull it down with the uh, script liner if we really want it to look like icicles. I just finished painting, sat down, found you painting. It's fun to watch you bravely get with the painting program. Thanks, Ken. Much appreciated. I feel like I need something more in the middle here. Some bushes or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I need something. Maybe we'll add some bushes. I don't know. 
It's starting to diverge from the <laughs> source material quite a bit, but that's okay. I'll just add some bushes here and there. Especially like right here, it looks kind of weird. Alright, I think that's okay for that part. Are the Alexander brushes better than Ross ones? Their site never seems to have the half inch. It, I like them more. I like the uh, two and a half inch a lot, but they, ne yeah, like you said, they never have them in stock. I don't know. Supply chain issues, probably something. But I haven't seen them in stock in at least a year. It's been a long time. I ain't seen them. I'm just going to add something crazy here. took the palette knife and pulled white <laughs> straight titanium white down I don't know sometimes I like doing that it makes the water look a little stronger like you can feel it you can feel that water coming out there there we go I think that's good enough for that side maybe a little bit there don't want to touch it up too much whoops and I do want to fix this edge I don't like this edge right here I don't like the way it looks. I don't know why. It just looks weird. I didn't like it. There we go. All right. That seems okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to add anything else. Maybe some more. Could add stuff down here, but I don't want to go too deep down the rabbit hole painting stuff, or what do they call it, piddling, <laughs> piddling and things, but I do want to add some frosty, frosty bushes up here, well just a little bit, I think that would be a nice touch, just a little bit, alright, this is phthalo blue with some oil into the white, I like punching it, that gives it a here we go. There we go. Maybe something here. Just around. Around the edges. Brighten things up a little bit. There we go. Okay. I said I was going to piddle and then I piddled. Oh wow. I think that's good enough for today, as far as this stuff goes. We'll add some oil to the red for the signature, and call it a day. This is supposed to be Mesa Falls, Idaho. I don't know how much it looks like Mesa Falls at this point. <laughs> I had a vision in my head and then it lost it. Use it up somewhere else. That happens. That's okay. What do I want to sign? I'll put it over here. I don't usually sign over here, but might as well. It's a nice dark space. Twenty-two. All right. Got oil all over my hands. Wipe this brush off, and then oh, I call it there. Good cheap chip brush is the Fuller by Red Tree. Solvent proof brushes, Hobby Lobby. They have a Fuller basic chip brush. Nice. Then what you find at hardware. That's a good, good suggestion. Lots of stuff to check out at Hobby Lobby and Michaels today. <laughs> I'll probably be going there after this pick up those canvases. All right, let's take her down. See how it went. I don't know, it seems okay. 
I do like the blues, different colors of blues. And I like the waterfall. I always like the waterfalls though. All right, I'm gonna drop this back here. Set it down on the floor. And then come back over here. Make sure everything's good. Yep, all right. Do you wanna try free homemade brush cleaning soap I made? Sure. Always willing to try new things. Oh, I just got paint all over my hand again. Um, oh. Homemade brush cleaning soap. That sounds cool. Alright, I'm just going to clean this brush off real quick. I don't know what time is it. Oh, 6.05. Five minutes over. All right. Sorry, everybody. I have to go. Uh, thanks for joining. Much appreciated. Be sure to check out uh, other folks in the, ch in the chat who's got YouTube channels. Paint Your Dream World's really good. Uncle Sixty's got good stuff. Uh, I know Paul's got a stop motion thing. I think it's uh, Iron. I can't remember the exact name of it. but We also have a Discord if anybody wants to join up and share stuff in there more than welcome to um, but yeah thanks for joining the week after I believe is Christmas so I'll be probably out for the two weeks after Christmas and New Year's but if I don't see you, I hope you have a good Christmas and New Year's or whatever holidays you celebrate and uh, yeah I just appreciate you being here happy holidays